Hi guys, it's Oli, and today I will show, uh, show you how to start the Ford 4AT 3 motor, since those old radial engines are kind of tricky to start, especially in cold weather. So let's go. Inside the cabin, you can choose between different panel options, modern ones and uh, more vintage ones, but we will stay on this one and it will not affect all the things you need for startup procedure. So first of all, we will turn on the battery as in most aircrafts and we go to the back of the cabin and we will make sure our fuel selectors are on the right position. So um, the right fuel selector should be to engine on, our reserve tank selector should be to off and our left selector should be put to engine on as well. Then we go down here, make sure our fuel selector is pointing towards the seat and not to the middle of the cabin, so it's open. And make sure our parking brake, our parking brake is on. And then we can turn on our NAV lights. Make sure our master ignition is set to on position. Then we will bring up the mixture, uh, the mixture to rich, 100%. Then we will push forward our throttle to around 25%, just slightly forward, click on it to make sure, a little bit more, yeah, that's perfect. Then we will go to our priming controls and we go to uh, the left position first, we will start uh, the left engine first. We will unlock the primer pump and now we will pump four times, three, four. Go down to our starters, press the left starter, count to three, one, two, three, and put on the solenoids and put the magnetos to both. And we can start the revs are rising and we did it. This bitch is running. So we will continue with the other two engines. We will go to the center engine as next, pump again four times, one, two, three, four, to bring some fuel into the system. Press the starter, count to three, one, two, three, put on the solenoids and turn on the magnetos to both position. And we did it as well, nice. Then we will go to the right engine, pump again, one, two, three, go down to the starter, one, two, three, put on the solenoid and turn magnetos to both. And as well, it worked. Solenoids will go to off position um, automatically. We can now turn on our alternator, so we have uh, we will fuel the batteries. Then we can lock our primer, bring this to locking position. Then we can put our thrust or throttle back to idle position. We can watch the temperature rising. We can watch our revolutions if they stay stable. And if you may ask why are there two magnetos, it's every engine has two magnetos which will uh, provide uh, the voltage for the spark plugs. And you have two so the engine runs more smooth and in case one one uh, magneto is failing you still have the other one um, and so why do you have the left and the right magneto only position this is just to make sure both are working so you go to the right position you will check your um, we are in the center engine now so we will see the the revs are dropping a little bit but the magneto is working now we will go to left magneto only and you can see the engine is still running, so both magnetos are perfectly fine and we can now start our flight.